Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to do this test. Um, I bought this Helix LT uh, a couple weeks ago for recording purposes only. And I decided to bring it up to my practice spot just to see how close the Placator model uh, sounded like the real BE. I brought it up and I was just completely blown away. Um, so I just happened to have a show tonight and I have my Friedman at home hooked up to my uh, home cab, which is a Friedman 212 loaded with Celestian uh, Creamback H75s. Um, I'm just going to show you the setup I have real quick. Okay, so I got the Helix LT all set up via four cable method. Uh, got the Friedman going into the Friedman 212. Friedman is running presence fairly high, which you can do on these things. Base around six, middle around five, treble around six, gain around eight, three o'clock, whatever. Uh, voice switch off, HBE channel on, and the S switch is the highest gain setting. Uh, I got the back off, I was doing some tube rolling, but uh, I got the, got the fat switch. The C45 and, or I'm sorry, yeah, fat C45 and sat switch off, flex loop on, flex return is using my volume. This is my main master volume now that I'm using uh, the effects loop. That's how the Freemans like to be set up. And I have the placator settings. Uh, I gotta go to my test. I do not use the Placator preamp in my main setup because it's redundant. I just use the preamp of the actual amp itself. Anyway, so in this test thing here, if I switch over to effects mode, um, got the Placator amp on right here and the sound block off. So if I switch, the sound block is on. So sunblock on means it's bypassing the preamp and it's using my BE100's preamp. When I hit the switch, it is going to the placator into the return and this is bypassed. So everything is basically in the return. Everything else is bypassed. The only thing that is going that is on is this noise gate, which I'm actually going to turn off. Um, and then the sound block and the uh, preamp model. And that's it. So I will get this set up and we will um, hear the differences. Okay, so I'm going to show you some chords here. First, I just want to say that I got kind of a high gain thing going on here because that's what my band uses. Uh, mostly high gain type things. Um, my other band is actually low gain and I just use that little S switch right there. I just flick it and that brings it to a low gain setting. I'm not gonna use high gain for this. I'm also at extreme bedroom, bedroom levels. And here's my messy guitar shop or half of it. The other half is beyond those doors. Um, none of this matters. Guitars, David Gilmore signature strat and Modern Warfare, one of my Shervels. And I'm using the San Dimas, USA San Dimas for this. Not that it matters much. Um, I've got record going on. And so I have this SM57 going into Logic. And hopefully I'll be able to isolate that in a decent way. And that's it. Let me just start riffing some chords here. Some open <laughs> This is the BE100 preamp. When I hit the switch, it will be the Placator model. I should add that the Placator has the exact same settings, EQ settings, as I'm running on the BE. I'm going to put the phone down, you'll be looking at a floor, and I'm just going to do a couple little riffs here and there, and I'll be switching back and forth.
Bueno. messing around that last riff was a uh, slacko riff but it was too an e so it sounded weird but i was switching a lot going back and forth i'm sure you'll probably hear the uh, foot switch clicks in the mix there um and i can tell you which one was what at that point because that's the whole point of the video <laughs> uh so yeah so i'm really impressed with this thing uh, the placator model is pretty it's like 95 percent there it's a little bit more compressed a little brighter at the same EQ settings that could be EQ'd out. They could they could be easily matched, I think. In the band situation, you would never know the difference between them, honestly. Um, that said, the dynamics are a little different. The BE model, I mean, you can't just beat the dynamics of a BE. Uh, the way it reacts to your picking, the way it reacts to adjusting your volume. The placator does pretty good. It's not the best. Um, it, it does it like you know a Marshall wood or something like that it does a pretty decent job but the Freemans just clean up to beautiful chime um, yeah I mean all honesty I mean I would have no issue at all ever using the placator as a backup for the actual head which I actually have a power amp as a backup and the helix for that exact same reason so the placator 